Yo, what is going on? Happy Friday. We are coming at you live from downtown Chicago. My name is Brendan, and we are going to be hosting this live stream to show off a ton of live orders that you submitted on our website. We got Brother Brian with the amazing walk-in introduction. You like that? I just had to kind of copy you, see if I can do it a little bit better. So. Out of the Hollywood textbook. Yeah. So, you guys, we are so happy to be here. Uh, we have... Obviously, a lot of orders to, to showcase, but before we do, we just wanted to let you know that this will be the last live order polling slash order showing video until after the sidewalk sale, because we have that taking place next Thursday and Friday, August 15th and 16th. But exciting times here at the shop. Brian, we have tons of items coming in. We've got tons of orders going out already. Things are getting crazy. They sure are. I know we're doing this a little bit different because we've got so many orders. Yeah. to pull and the store is packed with all the stuff for the sidewalk sale. Uh, our team has been processing orders, stocking orders from just about every single brand that we carry. So we're getting mm -hmm. dozens and dozens of packages a day. They're actually mm -hmm. working on a huge Galen order right now in the back. There's, 10 plus cartons. Yeah, there's a couple hundred different products in there. So, yeah. uh, so that's why we're not going back and forth, try to contain us here yeah. so that we're not upsetting any of the team members getting in their way like we normally do. Yeah, yeah, let me just show you a quick little glance into the studio. We got stuff there, we got stuff over there. The back is just looking insane with a whole bunch of stacked boxes. So yeah, it's, uh, it's a little crazy what we've got going on. Let me move this a little bit closer. Yeah. So this layout is going to be different as Brian mentioned uh, we actually pulled all of the orders ahead of time. So we're just gonna showcase and walk through what was ordered um, for, from everyone. That way we can do it in a more organized way. Cause again, as Brian mentioned, there's team members polling things right now, checking things in, holding down the shop. So there's a lot going on. Um, before we jump in though, just a reminder, we did launch our Atlas. I know it's showing in reverse right now on the camera, but our Atlas stationers, a three-quarter sleeve baseball shirt. We made 100 of these. We're nearly halfway sold through already. Um, we made them for the sidewalk sale, but then we thought we'd launch them a little bit earlier so people can wear them to the sidewalk sale. So we have these available for $34.99. You hold that. I'm going to unmirror the video. So you guys, we got that tripod action today. Um, you guys remember when the tripod replaced Brian for like two weeks, like a year or two ago? That was great. The views tanked. The views, lost subscribers. The views tanked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, lost followers. That's good. That's good. Yep. Uh, but look how good that would look on Brian right there. So I'll be debuting it. I know you set one aside for me. Yep, yep. Next, what day, Thursday or Friday? One of the two. Next Thursday, I think we're trying to get the whole team to wear their Atlas shirts. Okay. Um, so that way you can also identify who's with Atlas uh, during the big event when we have hundreds of thousands of people here. But Did you just say hundreds, two thousands, or hundreds, hundreds of thousands? Hundreds, two thousands. Oh, man, I was going to say. That's... Uh, a little bit bigger than we were anticipating so if we had hundreds of thousands of people here well i think we would need to take up way more than just the just block the out in front city. of our yes the entire downtown yes so those are available online uh last few things about the big event the now it's weird i'm on this side yes <laughs> it just I, threw me for a loop all right an angle and then so, when you do that it looks weird too so. yeah yeah it's hard it's hard but last few things with the sidewalk sale workshops and meetups are are moving very quickly in terms of uh, seat reservations and ticket sales. Uh, I think two of the workshops are already sold out, the Fountain Pen 101 and then the uh, in-depth exploration of pen materials. And then for some of the other workshops, we only have one to two seats left, like Calligraphy 101 has one seat left. Uh, Exploring Inks in Unique Ways has two seats left. When I looked this morning, actually, I saw there was quite a few of them that had no seats left. Yeah, so I think it's maybe the, two to three of them. That are, yeah. So, so we just, because we have a limit on how many people we can fit into a single space here for those yeah. meetups. Um, yeah, so those but, are for the meetups. Oh, sorry, I thought that's what we were talking about. Yeah, so for the meetups, what Brian just mentioned, so uh, we were selling so many uh, seat reservations, or I guess having seats being reserved because it's free. The workshops are gonna be held back here, and then the meetups are gonna be in the other side of the shop. But so many people were signing up. Uh, there was no cap per se. We were just kind of letting people RSVP so we can have an idea of how many people will show up. But then we were like, okay, we probably need to stop like selling the ticket reservations because there were so many people signed up. And as Brian mentioned, the space is limited. But during the event, for the meetups only, you can kind of just walk on up and participate if you want. I mean, it's an open 
it's an open gathering in a way, but we want the people who reserved yeah. to get like the yeah. prime we'll, seating. Right. Or yeah, standing there won't be room. seating, but there will yeah. be standing, yeah. Because it will be around um, in the living room, around with the tables. So yeah. we'll make sure that anyone that did sign up will get the first dibs on it. Yeah. And then we can let people go you know, into that space yeah. as time allows if, if there's enough space. But we do have to have a cap on there just yeah. so it's comfortable enough for everyone so it's just not a frenzy, a free flow. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, see how it goes. You know, if, if we need mm -hmm. to adjust after the first meetup, mm -hmm. uh, we can do that. We can find more space. But we've been busy, yeah. you know, the last couple of days making sure that we lay out the entire sidewalk, the entire retail I store. I think we got the floor plan pretty much figured out, which is great. Yeah. So, yeah. and we're going to have a team member work on doing a planogram, uh, like a festival style map, so you can know where the vendors are and, uh, you know, plan accordingly, which mm -hmm. would be great. Uh, but yeah, so I guess. One thing we, we didn't really, uh, we, under, we underestimated maybe is that with the meetups, so many people signed up, so that's why we put a cap on it. But also with the vendors, we did our best to uh, structure the layout outside to fit as many as possible outside. However, there will be a few vendors on the inside as well. Um, you know, anyone that needs like electricity, like uh, the nib smiths will be inside also so they don't have to deal with the, the L rumbling when they're talking to, you know, somebody uh, up close with how they want their nib or when they're working their machines, there's no, and not as much vibrations, things like that. But for the most part, the majority of the vendors will be outside. We've, we've come up with a great and efficient floor plan. Yeah, so, I think it's like 26 out of the 30 vendors or something, 25 yeah, out of the 30 the vast vendors majority. The will be outside. Majority. That way you can still come in the store and mm -hmm. there's still plenty of room to, to shop all the other products that are not necessarily represented yeah. by vendors at the sale. Yeah, so, all excellent, right. excellent. Okay, well, that was a lot about the sidewalk sale. We're going to keep pushing it down your throats as we lead up to the event because it's just such a fun time and we yep. want you all to have all the information necessary. So, okay, now how we're gonna do this, we have all of the orders from the queue lined up here and they're already pre-polled. Brian and I are just gonna take turns going over the orders and what was, uh, you know, what was on the order itself. For the, uh, I guess the gifts today, we do have a box of stickers that we're gonna be handing out and tossing in. Uh, we are pretty low on gifts right now, so we're working with all of our vendors to supply more because you guys have just been ordering so much for these live polls, which we greatly appreciate. So the next batch of gifts we'll probably get in the next couple weeks. Yeah, so the gifts, can we just throw those in after? That's perfect. Yeah, yeah, let's do that then. Why don't you show it real quick? Yeah. Just a little box of, of stickers. Yeah, we'll show. We got a couple of the Stay Smooth stickers. We're kind of far from the camera now. Hard to see, but just a few. We got the hot dog sticker. Did you show off the retros, uh, actually? I did, and uh, did I? I'm not sure. I so we do have a couple. Of I can't remember. In addition to the shirts, we have a couple exclusive sidewalk sale products that we're launching uh, that are live now. Uh, mm -hmm. But one of them is uh, Retro 51 with a hot dog. Yeah. Engraving on it, which is uh, actually done really well. Yeah. So we reordered well, it. We sold out. Ready. We sold out the first batch. So luckily we got more in time because yeah. that was also supposed to be for the sidewalk yeah. sale. So. Brennan got a little too anxious, a little too excited when uh, when I was gone last week. So. Yeah. Let's not act like you don't early release hey, stuff hey, too. It's so. Only okay if I, it's in, it's it's in the okay Schmidt blood. It. <laughs> it's in the Schmidt blood to like get too excited. And when we plan a release date, we always release it early or spontaneously. Almost always. Almost so always. yeah. So we got plenty more. Um, we also got more of those Chicago theater ones. Um, but the peacock with the, the peacock color with the Chicago theater engraved on it, which you might have seen on our website, that one sold out online. We have a few that will be here during the sidewalk sale. But the good news is we were able to remake them just in a true blue color. So not the peacock, just a different blue. Yeah. That's online as well as the Chicago dog, and those will be available here for the event. Okay. So boom. Great. All right, let's jump in. So first order we got right here, this is Braxton S, order number 189161. Note here says, can this be filmed on TikTok? Also, can you say, midway upon my journey of life, I found myself with a great pen for the ballpoint path had been lost. How poetic. The ballpoint pen had been lost. I think we all can agree that it's now the era of fountain pens again. So Braxton's been a longtime supporter of Atlas and the channel, so thank you so much for the love again. And you got one of the coolest pens that had been released this year, the Comedy Collection. This is going to be the Inferno from Visconti. Check that out. Beautiful, beautiful. So there's three editions in this collection, the Inferno, the Paradise, and the Purgatory. And uh, the Inferno, I think, was the best seller, if I'm not mistaken. It has been. 
Um, yeah. I like the Paradise one I thought was going to be the best. It's a little bit brighter colors. Yeah, it matches the shirt so well. The Inferno has been killing it, so we sold it a few times, yeah. Yeah, Visconti, in general, in the last year plus, yeah. they've really done a great job on some of their entry-level pens. Yes. Uh, you know, in that like sub $300 market with Agreed. the Mythos collection, with the, the new comedy collection. The Rembrandts so, from a yeah. few months ago. So I've been really impressed with them. Awesome. Braxton, right, so thank just, you so much. And we'll just throw them underneath, right? So yes, we sir. keep track of them. So just grab. Just grab and go, any? brother. Okay. Grab and go. So I've got the order 188885. I don't know if I said the right amount there. Uh, but this is for Mini. He's and, new to this, okay, guys? Yeah, I don't read the He's notes He's new too much. to this. Mini and Louis M. Uh, can you pull live for TikTok and check the nib? So we have an Aurora 888 uh, in the Burano, which is a limited edition collection that came out mm -hmm. uh, a few months ago. But uh, this is actually part of our sidewalk sale doorbusters, mm -hmm. correct? Which, which we also launched early, so. Which we also launched early. <laughs> My bad. Uh, so you, you're we able, didn't advertise it yet, though. You're able to take so. advantage. <laughs> These are on last chance right now, so you get that extra discount. Uh, if you go to atlasstationers.com, you get the extra 50% off mm -hmm. uh, on whatever the price is sold, selling for right now. But we have four or five different mm -hmm. Auroras. colors in that yeah. collection, right? Mm -hmm. So this one, this might be my favorite out of there. It's going to be kind of hard to see, but we should have some still in stock. But it's the Burano, mm -hmm. and this was in the broad nib. And this comes with the ink, doesn't it? It does. These packed in on the ink? other side. Okay. I think awesome. this side. Yeah, so we got the Burano, the Mantova, the or Ortigia. I know um, one sold out. I see, I see one right there. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, the light blue one, the most recent one, or second most recent. We also do have the most current one, the Volterra, but that one is not on Doorbuster, but that one's still available. Okay, so awesome. So that one's like the, the uh, kind of like rose gold iridescent one. Okay. So cool. cool. Awesome. Thank Very you. Very good. Uh, yeah, thank you for the order. Yeah, appreciate you. Louie and Minnie. All right, well, let's continue on with the Aurora streak. This one's for Lau, order number 188982. Could you please pull this on TikTok live? I also would like to request one that at least, uh, that has, that's at least half of more blue to white ratio. I've been waiting so long for this beauty to go on sale. Thanks a bunch, you guys are the best. So same exact pen that Brian just showed, just a different colorway. Uh, Lau, our, our team probably opened a few for you to figure out the best one that we had available in terms of the request. So let's see what we got. Yeah, beautiful. So here you go right here. I know it's hard to see, we're a little bit far. Maybe we should move the camera up. I'm gonna move the camera up. I don't think you can, because if we do, we're gonna have to be right on top of each other. We're gonna have to squeeze in together. Yeah. So here you go, we got that. Let's check the nib. This one's supposed to be a medium, looking good, looking good. Perfect. Yeah, Aurora will be here, Aurora USA. Maybe we should also do that. If you come across a brand that's gonna be vending at the sidewalk, okay. they'll announce it. It's a good idea. It's pretty much gonna be everything, to uh, be honest. Almost everything, yeah. Yes. I mean, we have 30 plus vendors coming, so. Yeah. So Visconti will be here, Aurora will be here, and so we're three for three right now. Two for two on brands, but three for three on orders that have products yeah, that would be. It represented. Lal, thank you so much for the love, brother. Super, super excited for you to get that pen you've been looking for. All right, let's see. Next up, I've got order for Chris G, 188625. This is Squatch. Oh, Squatch, and I see Squatch is on the live. Where is the brotherly love? Squeeze in there. Yeah, well. There it is, only for your order. Just for that, yeah. Um, but we've got a Lamy Tippo in aluminum, a Rotiorama, uh, seven and a half by nine and seven eighths notebook in turquoise. No, please pull live if you can. If not, no worries. This is a gift for my daughter, so don't judge me on the rollerball. Wow, we were about to say something, and uh, we were gonna drop kick ship your order. Yeah, the opposite direction. Maybe not even like put it in the box. Just drop kick ship the pen itself. Yeah, we were gonna we were gonna we were gonna toss it in the river. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> so nice of you. So uh, here is the Rama. It is ruled, and then we've got the Tippo which is a retractable pen right there. Yeah, retractable rollerball, not too many out there, at least no. that we carry outside of like this one, the Swift from Lamy, and maybe Retro 51. Yeah, and to uh, go over the two brands, both Lamy and Rodia will be at the sidewalk sale. So we are a perfect, I don't know, five for five in brands? Five for five. Is that five. where we're at? 
All right. I see men said, uh, wow, what a bad influence to your daughter. <laughs> That's nice. Ouch. That's nice. Okay, next up we got Stephanie E, order number 188572. Please do a live poll on my order. Two live poll requests in one week. Talk about falling deep in the rabbit hole. I am enabling a dear friend of mine by gifting her a starter kit for her birthday next month. Looking forward to seeing and meeting Mr. Hollywood at the San Francisco Pen Show later this month. That's in a couple weeks, pretty much. Uh, already penciling in the Atlas Sidewalk Sale 2025 into my calendar, but we appreciate you being on top of it. Uh, you might have penciled in the dates before we did. Uh, just joking. It's always it's always the, the third Thursday and Friday of August, uh, un unless we decide to change it after 38 years. But, yeah. Okay. So, great order here, Stephanie. You've got some uh, Itoya Midtown pouches. These are great for holding, uh, you know, anything you need. Pencils, pens, accessories. So, great there. you got two different sizes, by the way. Then we have some Waringle swatch cards, including our exclusive with... Atlas holding up the globe, the earth, Tinkerbell, and the color swatch ink drop right there. We did get a restock on Vinta, which is really nice. Just threw it in stock uh, yesterday, I'm pretty sure. We received yeah. so much ink yesterday. Vinta, Lennon Tua Bar, Wearing Gold, Sailor, uh, Robert Oster. I yes. Mean, yeah, pretty much everything. Yes. So, and uh, I think and there's, there's more, more to come. There's more coming. Yeah. I think everything should be here hopefully by Monday, the last bit. Yeah, uh, things that were ordered internationally, clearing customs and stuff. Yeah, so yeah, it's just insane. We're trying to stock up fully for the shop. So we'll get some photos probably maybe like before the event, maybe like Tuesday, showing you how filled our stock room is and our shop because it's just crazy. Yeah. Uh, we also have a Narwha honeycomb ink and then a Twisby swipe in salmon. So thank you so much for the order, Stephanie. To go, uh, we're going to break our streak here. But to show you who will be here, Narwha will be here at the event. And then same with, uh, not Itoya, but um, some... Well, the representatives. The representatives, will be here. yeah. Actually, you're right, yeah. So I think we'll have some of these maybe out on their table, but I know they're going to focus on Sailor primarily. So great stuff there. Great stuff. Stephanie, thank you so much for the love. Okay. Next up, we got a nice order from Dana S. 188793. We have some Ferris wheel press inks, uh, Leonardo exclusive, and a traveler's notebook. So let's get through the inks first. We have in the Fairy Tales collection the Blushing Mushroom, which I think about a month ago we did get a huge restock on almost yeah. all of the Fairy Tales collections. Like everything. So, and then there is a Ferris Wheel Press order coming in that should stock us up. Those are big orders. Uh, I think today or tomorrow or on Monday. Uh, and Ferris Wheel Press will be at the sidewalk sale. Yep, Callie will be here for her second one. Yep. So. so, next up we got one of the newest releases. We got the Lead Cast Letters and the Russet Type Case. This is the newest ink that we have from them. Uh, we have Wearing Gold, the Half Moon with Dimmed Lights. We have a Traveler's Notebook in brown, the regular size. I mean, it's hard to get used to yeah, you guys going to this way. Yeah, there, there we go. go. I'll put uh, the focus on you. The regular size. Uh, just a reminder, anyone that was looking for the Tokyo collection, uh, we did just get a huge restock on those, but they are moving pretty quickly. Uh, also available in the regular size. And then we've got the exclusive Leonardo Golden Abalone with the Ruthenium trim. This one's a banger. This one's a banger. This definitely is. Ooh, this is a, I like that one. I'll show it up close. Yeah. So these uh, launched, started shipping them, I think beginning of July. Available in ruthenium trim and rose gold. Rose gold is just about out. Uh, and these ones are limited to 150 pieces in each trim. They will not be available once they once they sell out. Uh, I remember the good old rose gold versus ruthenium debate. Yes. Um, I think you favored ruthenium. I favored rose gold. Um, and then we decided to do both. Yeah. So I'm pretty I don't sure want that's to what happened. It. I, feel I, like I think I that's what happened. I don't know. I'm pretty sure oh, I got the call. Maybe. Well, the, the correct call was doing both trims. Was doing both. Because yes, either that one was the correct sold call. Instantly. Yeah. But um, hey. Well, I'll, I'll let you have that one. The one I picked sold out quicker or <laughs> is selling out quicker. So what can I say? I got that eye. There. To sure. be fair, though, I think low key, it depends on the variation you get. Like some How with, much the, with the more black colors. swirls. Yeah. yeah. Ruthenium looks better on the variations with darker swirls. Yeah. With the ones with less darker swirl, swirls, more of the, the golden, like beige color, the rose gold looked better in my opinion. Okay. That's why we couldn't pick between the two. So yeah. we did both. So that's everything we got for your order, Dana. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll get it on its way. Oh, we're running out of room down here. 
Okay, so as you guys can oh, tell, we got, we got a, a lot of orders. Here, this one's empty down here. We got a lot of orders here. So next up, we've got Laura S. Order number 188633. Please put my order live on TikTok. Here we go. Starting off with the new Tokyo. Uh, this is like the brass pin, the charm. Uh, so we did get a restock of all of these, the notebook and the accessories from the Tokyo collection. So we got that available. And then three Colorverse inks, which I think these are from the, the Korean series. Yeah. Yep, Korean they sure special. are. So uh, I'm not going to pronounce some of these, but uh, I'll show them up close. <laughs> I'm not, I'm there not... is one that's marked as uh, that we need to find, but we do have a, that large Colorverse order. I think it's due in to Monday. Okay. So we'll hold off on shipping this till Monday because we should have everything in stock by then. Perfect. Yeah, so uh, the Colorverse line has been doing so well from us. Every single collection, the Project Series, the State Series, the Korea Series, it's just been doing super, super good for us. Yeah. Um, so Colorverse will be here. Bryce Gillette, the U.S. representative, will be here. We'll have full stock on all of that stuff. Yep. So, Laura, thank you so much. All right. All right. Let me step over here. We are making our way. We still got, what, like 15 orders left, I feel like? Yeah, we got a we're, lot. We're doing good, though. Uh, so next up, I've got Eduardo M189164. Hi, we try to watch you on TikTok every week. If you can please pull this order live. Thanks, Lori and Eddie. So we got a couple accessories and inks on this one. First up, we have the D. Charles two pen pouch. There we go. In rawhide orange. So it's got the orange stitching on that. D. Charles is also gonna be here. That is Bryce with luxury brands. We have private reserve syringes. For ink, ink only. For, for ink, yes. Uh, we do have, uh, this is distributed by Yaffa and Ken Jones. And I think Ross, Ross. is coming too. Yeah. Uh, so we'll have two guys here for, uh, for that, two legends, uh, that will have all the Yaffa products. Next up, we have Lennon Toolbar. I'm guessing this was ordered because it was just restocked. Uh, Sun Moon Lake Ruby Black Tea. Wow, that is a name. That's a name. Yeah, the Sun T Moon series Lake is a name. Ruby Black Tea. There we go. Okay. And then we've got Waringal Metamorphosis. This is what you want to do. Just keep switching. Yeah. Hold them. I think this is a better layout. We'll get a. Okay. Because then we don't have to, you know I don't have to be standing behind you all awkwardly while you talk. You just see your hands floating. Yeah. In the camera. Perfect. All right, and that is it. Thank you for the order. All right, now we'll hit the roto. We'll rotate a little bit. Boom, back on camera. Check out this, this cycle we've got. All right, this one is for Kara M, order number 189305. Please see if you can find one with more of the corally orange marbling. Also, please pull live. So I imagine they are talking about the golden abalone with the ruthenium trim. So we're looking for more of that beige color, the golden color, I'd imagine. Or actually, no, the coral. Okay, I see what they're looking for. I almost just spit everywhere, ew. There you go. So you'll notice, let's see if we can get a close-up shot. I'll step, I'll step this way. Um, so if you look closely, there is like an iridescent, uh, like orange abalone involved in the material. This one has quite a few. I haven't really it. seen that. Yeah, this one has a That's, lot of it actually. Yeah. So this one's really nice. Let's double check it's the right trim, medium, looking good. And then the other item on here is has to be one of the most popular inks of the year here. The sesame oil from Lennon Toolbar. We cannot keep that one in stock. I don't know how many you ordered this batch, but hopefully you ordered like 30. Because well, I mean, I order like 100 at a time. Oh, okay. So, well, that's yeah, we good. We did a lot. Uh, actually, I did get an email from Lennon Toolbar the other day. Uh -huh. They came out with a special edition ink uh -huh. um, for Stationery Fest. Oh, that's they fun. Asked, yeah, they asked if... Um, if we wanted to take any of them. So I did I would order say, yeah. quite a few. So cool. I haven't heard back on if they can allocate that much to us, how um, many I ordered, um, but hopefully we'll have a new ink soon. We should get caught up on some comments here. I saw something, uh, those cases look great. I'm always interested in how big a pens those can hold, uh, which is, I think we're talking about the D. Charles, uh -huh. asking if you can do a, a TikTok in the future about it, maybe sure. explaining what the brand is, because we don't, we haven't done too much, I don't think, with the D. Charles. Absolutely. Uh, we got Steffi, good morning. Tanya Hollywood, spitting on people's pens, free bonus. Hey, I'm <laughs> sure you guys all want a little of my DNA on your orders. Who wouldn't? So, Who wouldn't? Yeah. The, the uh, price, the value of your order just skyrocketed. Yeah. And uh, men, I want boba. Boba. All right. The ink? Yes. 
Or like boba tea, right? Yeah, boba tea. Um, okay. Next up, we've got Paris W one eight nine one eight zero. Got ooh a couple, three doorbusters Jeez. for the sidewalk sale. Way Getting to take in a advantage. little early, yeah. So first up, we've got the Pelican M six hundred art collection, which is okay. We this. knew this one would be an absolute banger for you guys. Yeah. So this is something you worked on when I was I was gone. And uh, you struck gold with uh, Pelican on this, making sure, sure that we did. had enough. We might need to order more, to be honest. Yeah, if we can still secure the, uh, the deal. Right now, we've got these on Last Chance. It'll be the same deal next week for Doorbuster, but you get these at half off right now. I think we have all four nip sizes still available. Yeah, we, we went heavy on, the, on ordering these. Yeah. And so we've seen a ton of these orders coming through. Uh, forgot to read the note here from Paris. Can you pull? for Friday's Live, thanks. So that's the first item on there that is gonna be part of the door busters. Next up, we have the Platinum 3776. All of the Platinum uh, 3776s in their standard collection that have rhodium, tr rhodium trim is going to be part of the door busters and they're on last chance right now, temporarily. We'll still carry these after the event. Uh, but we have the blue with that rhodium sealed. trim yeah, it's sealed. Oh, with uh, ultra extra fine nib. UES. So if you want to see what it looks like, take a look on the website atlasstationers.com. But uh, I think there's four or five different colors, black, red, blue, four. green. Okay. Yep. Um, with rhodium trim, we're all going to be on that deal. So they're going to be $150 for the sale price, which uh, gets you a gold nib. Uh, it's quite the, uh, mm -hmm. quite the special that we've got going on. And then it's available in the whole range of nibs. I think only the music nib might have a, a premium price on it. Yeah. Uh, next up, we have the one of the inks that we have on Sidewalk Sale Special. This is the exclusive Wolf Point, which we actually, I think we announced it at the Sidewalk Sale last year. I know we talked about it in our uh, session that you and me did last year. And then we've got the Sailor Dipton ink set in Mellow Forest. And so out of all those brands that we have on this order, everyone, everyone will, be will be at the Sidewalk Sale. Love it. Thank you, Paris. Pelican, Sailor, Colorverse, Platinum. Love it. All right. Here we go. As we continue on, we got Patty H, order number 189176. Hi, Hollywood. Congrats and best wishes on the wedding. Hope the sidewalk sale is amazing. We'll be attending online. Please pull for the live show. Patty, thank you so much. Appreciate the kind words there. Got another Colorverse Wolf Point. That's your job. Brian's sitting there with his hands behind his back just watching me trying to hand it to him. <laughs> okay. Next up, we've got the first one of the, the stream, the Delta Duna Happiness. This one was a ton of fun to make and has been doing so, so well for us. Here you go. So this is an exclusive that we... I'll say it over here. This is an exclusive Delta that we did. It's the second edition in the Duna collection, second exclusive that we've made. So we are looking to do more of not this finish, this colorway, but we have more exclusive projects lined up. Delta will of course be at our sidewalk sale. Little insider information, the red abalone, the first exclusive we did with them is pretty much sold out. We have one unit left, I'm pretty sure that we will put out at their table. Whoever is the first person to come and secure it will get that pen. Otherwise, that one is completely sold out and done. This one I know we're, we're, we're selling through and it's doing pretty strong for Very us. Very quickly, so. yeah. yeah. And when you come over, you want to get caught up on comments? Yeah. So, Patty, thank you so much for the love, my friend. Are these orders over here? Is this part yes, of those are also orders. Okay, cool. Yeah. We're making, yeah, we're we making got like good 10 progress. Left. Yeah, we're doing good. All right. Let's Next. see. Uh, yeah, you read the comments and then I'll get this ready. Ultra extra fine for the win. Ultra extra fine. Your ink line is the width of an atom. Yep, that's a good good comparison. Probably stay away from shimmer ink on that. Um, Menti says makes uh, makes sense since you have to split the tines to right, so you are splitting the atom. Oh, we're getting all scientific here in the chat. Uh, there's getting started page on the website that has some good options. Yes, yeah, so Adam Maniac, uh, we do have that getting started collection on our website. There's some tabs on top. You can click that and basically we've curated a select list of products that will be great recommendations to get started. So entry level pens, introductory inks, notebooks, all of that good stuff. 
So we get asked that question very frequently, so we just made an actual like collection you can shop on our website, atlasstationers.com. Love this beautiful pastel colors. Awesome. Okay, ready? Yep. All right, next up we got Linda E189181. Please pull my order on live feed. Can't wait to wear my new Atlas shirt, which we do have the new Atlas shirt on there. Next up, we have a plotter refill, the ruled version in the mini size, which we just got a plotter restock uh, either today or yesterday. I know that we're out of quite a bit, mm -hmm. um, but should be restocked, or if it hasn't, should be restocked any day now. Got the storied blue from Ferris Wheel Press. So it matches your shirt, bro. Yeah, a little bit, at least on the camera it does. Perfect. And then we have the Pen World magazine from June. And I just saw we got the newest edition of Pen World, which must be August. Yeah, great. Uh, it's in the back, so we'll make sure we get that uh, Oh, added. absolutely. This is a great way to stay up to date with everything happening in the community. Yeah. So really fun. And then we also have a Sailor Mini converter on the order, which I didn't see in here. So I'll have to make sure we grab that separately, put it off to the side. Cool. All right. And wait, Brian didn't announce that Atlas Stationers will be at the Atlas Sidewalk sale. Ooh. Perfect. Surprise. We will be there. All right, let's keep that one off. All right. How are we going to do? I see there's some mystery boxes. What was your plan? We're going to, we'll have you walk around and film me. Okay. Yeah. You can either fold up the tripod or you can just. I'll just walk with the tripod. Yeah, just grab it. All right. This if the tripod for, was any good, it could walk itself. So there is a reason yeah. why it never took over. It is a pretty stable tripod for how like how thin it how is. How flimsy to be looking it looks. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's doing pretty good. So you might be replaced again. All right, we got Jennifer A. Order number one eight nine one three zero. Please pull on live. I always look forward to new Atlas videos throughout the week, as well as happy mail from your store with that familiar sticker on the side. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much. We're glad you enjoy the stickers. We do an uh, Atlas storefront sticker on every package we send out because then you can be excited when you see the post carrier bringing it up to your doorstep. You know it's from your favorite shop. Yeah, I don't know if you saw King Don ordered the next batch of those oh. because we were starting to run low. Yeah. And uh, it always kind of amazes me how many it's thousands insane. of them we have to order and how quickly we go through them. Yeah, we got smarter. We used to have four four uh, of the stickers per sheet that you had to peel off, but then we upgraded to a sticker roll. So we're getting smarter, we're getting smarter. All right, another door buster here. This is the Platinum 3776 and uh, the blue with Rhodium. This one's gonna be a broad nib, so why don't you show the box off? Ooh, oh, wow, look ooh, at cool. that box. Super cool. Then we've got the Wonderland and Coral. A lot of Ferris will press on this stream today. Yeah, and actually maybe we should send a reminder. We do have a Ferris wheel press sale that's been going on. Uh, it's 25% off. It's great. Great uh, sale. Discount is applied in the cart. Here is a special edition. This is one of those Tokyo Travelers. This is a sticker pack. So this is from the new collection they released. And then we've got an Atlas shirt again. You guys, we really can't thank you for the love and the feedback we've gotten on these shirts. I mean, we've been really selling them super fast, so we appreciate the support. And if you're interested, you know, grab them while we still have it in your size. I know some of the sizes are getting close to selling out already. Are they? Yeah. You have some set aside for the sidewalk sale itself? That's probably a good idea. So Ooh, I'm gonna have to yeah. remove I'm a sure couple you from inventory. I'm sure you already did that. Yeah. All right, next up. We got Nancy B 189008 Hi there, can you please pull my order on live? Also, can the soup or the pen soup use, oh, pen soap use. It says soup. It says soup. So <laughs> I didn't guy, read it This wrong. guy can't read. <laughs> also, can the pen soup, so, uh, soap uh, used with any, be used with any fountain pen and ink? Thanks. All right. Uh, that is because we do have another brand new product that we can show on this. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'll let you answer that because I don't know. That one was taken, uh, was added when I was on vacation. So it's a brand new product. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So first up, let's show off the Atlas shirt again. We got one there. Thank you for uh, supporting it. This is the pen soap from Colorverse. Yeah, I think this can be used with any fountain pen. Uh, all there the are some, I see some instructions on the side and on the back. So uh, screenshot that. Three, two, one. But yeah, this is brand new to us. This has been doing super well. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's by Colorverse, and cool little box. yeah, you pretty much can use it on anything, I'm pretty sure. Okay. 
yeah, I don't think there's really any restrictions. Um, you know, if you are uh, a little on edge with like super expensive pens, then maybe, you know, just clean those the way you've been cleaning them, but this should be good. Okay. Next up, we got some more Ferris wheel press. We got the newest, the Russet type case and the Gale Force Green, which is also new this month. Gale Force Green is available in two or three different sizes. That one is the most common. We got the 20 milliliter version of it. And then last up, we have a new washi tape from MT. This is the sewing measure tape. We had just added about 15 to 20 new washi tape styles from MT. And there are 30 new Pipstick uh, washi tapes that just got added. So if you're looking for any new tapes, check it out. We got 50 new ones that uh, have just arrived. And then we have a huge restock coming on Monday or Tuesday of next week uh, to restock anything that's currently out, at least in washi tapes. All right, you ready to uh, keep moving here? Yep. You know, I just remembered, we've been getting a lot of people asking when the 2025 planners oh. will drop. Actually, before you continue, I had missed it. We do have a pre-order for a uh, Dynamite Ink Vent. Oh, on sick. This order, which should be coming out, I think, October. Yeah, those are still available for pre-order. But we get a, a lot of, we've gotten a lot of requests of asking when the 2025 planners will drop. We have some of them here, but they won't be available until after the sidewalk sale. As we start receiving our shipments, we're starting to sort through them all and add them to our website. So I think maybe but they won't be available until after the sidewalk sale. As we start receiving our shipments, we're starting to sort through them all and add them to our website. So I think maybe like, like sorry guys, low battery, low battery. Um, I think it's safe to say we can expect them, you know, at least some of them by the end of September. I know Hobonichi oh, is before then. Yeah, I can give you a, a recap right now, actually. So we do have some planners that have already arrived. Uh, due to space restrictions with the sidewalk sale coming up, we haven't... Uh, updated the website with the newest listing and received them in. So some of these brands will start going live, uh, like Blinkstrom, mm -hmm. uh, Let's, there's mm -hmm. a few others that will be available probably sometime the week after the sidewalk sale. Hobonichi, uh, we will be launching on August 31st, 9 p.m., I believe, is when we're allowed to start pre-selling those. Mm -hmm. Early September is usually when we get them. But uh, we should have the collection from Midori Travelers, uh, and a number of other brands up in the next week or two. And then they usually start coming out September, October, depending on the brand. Perfect, All there right. you go. All right, next up we've got Melissa Muffin here, 188925. This is a, a pretty long note, so I'll, I'll try to skim through it. Hey, can you pull this live? I love watching you on YouTube. You don't have to read the following, I guess. Oh, okay, so I guess we won't have to read the following. Um, I'll read this off stream, uh, but Melissa, we really appreciate your support. I know you've been a longtime supporter of the channel and we greatly appreciate all the support over the, the next, the last couple of years. So yeah, I'll read that note off stream then. Um, I see that it's got quite a few things in there. So, okay, looks like your order though. My goodness, you went on a spree here. We got two KWZ inks. Looks like you went Sheen Machine one and two, which are really fun inks. And then we got our exclusive Andorillium Chicago 1871. That's the Chicago Fire Ink that you can only find here at Atlas. Sidewalk gum, which we will have out there ready to go in large quantities for you. This is the Sidewalk Sale exclusive ink. It's been doing so well. And since Robert Oster's team will be here, they'll have some at their table for you. Yeah, and I think what they're actually doing for the Sidewalk Sale, they're gonna have 20 of their most popular inks. Yeah available in a testing station. A swatch and play. Swatch and play, yes. Yeah. And then we'll also have testers uh, of all of our exclusives, which is, we have four colors now? Four, yeah. Right? Four, Polar Vortex, four. Izzy Monster, uh, Sidewalk Gum, Vampire and Pigeon, Vampire which Pigeon. Which just got restocked. Yeah, uh, Izzy Monster, you guys, I checked, we only have 15 left, so oh. we might want to remove some of those too. Oops. Yeah, we didn't get a restock <laughs> of that. Vampire Pigeon, we got a few hundred back in, so that one we're good, Sidewalk Gum, we're good. Polar Vortex were good, but Izzy Monster, like... Do you want an Izzy Monster? Yeah, you got till the, the stream next, ends. five minutes. We're going to probably remove, like, all but a few after the stream. Yeah, good point. Good thing we talked about that. All right, and then we've got the new Puni Labo Raccoon. There was four of these. The Fox, the Raccoon, the Squirrel, and... What is the other one I'm missing? Can't remember. But, yeah, these have been doing really well. So you got that an Esterbrook stamp. 
You can. You don't have to take it out. It's it's hard to put back is the rubber. And then we've got the. Uh, I don't know why I'm blanking on that. The cherry something. Pina something colada? cherry. Or no, the other one's the pina colada. Yeah, that one's cherry. I can't remember. Cherry. Pink cherry. Cherry blossom. Cherry blossom. There we go. So we got that, and then. If I'm not mistaken, this oh, might be our exclusive. exclusive. It is. Yeah. I see it. This is our recent project we did with Monteverde. It's our first one actually with them. This is the Ritma in Rose Gold, which is exclusive to our shop. Definitely a little pinker in person than what I'm showing on the camera here. But all the Ritmas do have a magnetic cap. And then it's is it oh magnetic on magnetic the back. Cap. I always forget. Yeah, it's a great pen. We did a, a video about this yesterday or two days ago, which you can see uh, a nice awesome. reel. So really fun, great price point. We're going to be moving quite a few of these. And you know what? I think what we're going to do is we're going to do a giveaway um, uh -oh. that will repost on YouTube. So once the stream is up on YouTube, you're going to post a comment under the video to have a chance to win a prize. And the prize is gonna be one of each of our Robert Oster inks, not including the Izzy Monster. But we're gonna give away the sidewalk gum, the vampire pigeon, and the polar vortex to one lucky winner once this video is reposted on YouTube. And the prompt is going to be, what has been your favorite Atlas exclusive that we've released? In the history of Atlas, it could be pens, inks, all that good stuff, but we'll pick one winner to win all three of those exclusive Robert Oster ink bottles. Awesome. So, so Melissa, thank you so much for the love and really appreciate all of your endless support. You yeah. stay smooth, all right? So I do see a comment. When will the Pelican M200 Golden Lapis be added to the site? So yesterday, Pelican announced uh, a new model which is the Golden Lapis. It's a blue, like, demonstrator pen. Yeah. Probably rose gold trim. I didn't get to see. I think it's gold. gold. Oh, is it gold trim? Yeah, I think it's gold. Uh, gold trim that... Uh, and it's, it's, it's good. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's nice. It's going gonna, it's gonna to do really well. It's a little bit more balanced, I'd say, in terms of uh, preference base. Like, I know last year was basically an all pink N205. This one's going to be the blue with gold and shimmer. Yeah. It looks great from the front. So photos. we'll have those up for pre-order probably later today. Uh, end of the weekend at the latest. There's also a new one getting launched today that they're showing, which yeah, is... they just posted it's this called, morning. Oh, did they? It's called I Warm think. Gray. Yeah. Um, it, that one looks pretty sick. Yeah. Yeah, you guys are going to enjoy Pelican's release. They've been knocking it out of the park this year and last year. I think they've really stepped, stepped, it up stepped the last in a different couple direction. couple releases. Yeah. yeah, gotten more colors involved and unique designs. Okay. So, all right, next up. Next up, we've got Lloyd H, 189503. Uh, no note on here. Uh, they uh, messaged us. To say pull online. Yeah. Okay. Great, so we have a couple fun things. We got another of the Atlas shirts. Then for a pen, we've got the Laban Rosa in sunny yellow. So there's a few of these uh, that we just added to, you know, show that off. We just added to Last Chance. Two or three different colors. I think the yellow, the blue, and the red are now available with that extra discount. We've got Lamy T10 cartridges in black and red. Proprietary to Lamy only. Yes. You gotta use Lamy carts and Lamy pens or com Lamy converter. And then we have a bottle of Vampire Pigeon. Perfect. Thank you what so much you, for the uh, order. When you go to San Fran, anyone going to be coming up, giving you any chance? Yeah, so uh, we have, well, if you recall, we have a, a fun thing going on. When we were in D.C., we brought about 20 bottles of Vampire Pigeon because we had just launched it. Oh, let me fix the camera. Uh, and the, basically the idea was if you found us in, at the D.C. show, you would come up and give us a caca, and then you'd get a free bottle of Vampire Pigeon. This year I will be bringing sidewalk gum and all you need to do is find me at the show and ask me for a piece of gum and then I will give you a bottle of our uh, exclusive sidewalk gum ink. Uh, I think it needs to be last. something more advanced than that. Like maybe give you a piece of gum or something. If you like trade me a, a piece up, of gum. A chewed up piece of gum. Like, yeah, that's so like, nasty. <laughs> that's so nasty. I think you need to come up with something I a mean, little more. What would be cool is if they traded me a piece of gum, that means they have gum on them, which would inspire uh, maybe 
not as much bad breath and I won't have bad breath, which I talk a lot and drink a lot of coffee. So maybe if I do require sticks of gum as a trade, I'll but have Yeah, it breath. should be some type of trade. I think you got to, the cacao Make is Make them like, work for it? Yeah, it has to be a little more. Make them work for it? Yes. I mean, you're getting a premium bottle of ink there. It's only available. All right, I'll think about what to do, and I'll post a video on Instagram and TikTok you on how- a whole tutorial on how to do it? On how to, well, I need to let them know, like, because I just, I already posted a photo saying, find me and ask me for a piece of gum. Giving an update. Yeah. You know, this is, it, it was deemed it wasn't enough. Yeah, it was We deemed, want you to work harder. Which is great. We like, we like making you work for these giveaways. Yes. So we'll think of something cool. We'll think of something cool. All right, this one's for Ashley F, order number 188-756. Uh, please pull on TikTok. We're starting off with this like Art Deco washi tape from Cora Crea Crafts. Uh, Coralie will have some team members here for the event. We got the new Wearing Gold 1984 and the Gale Force Green from Ferris Wheel Press. The Aurorealis by Ferris Wheel Press. And then the Heartland Field Notes notebook. We got that as well. Is this the newest? Ah, uh, no, no. The newest one, I'll show you. The newest one's these two. It's like some log books. Oh, okay. Yeah, one of them's an index edition, and the other is oh, or yes. a receipt pocket. Wait, date book and log book. I'm sorry. Here you go. They're called the index edition. Perfect. All right. You guys, we have one order left to review, and then we got two mystery boxes that we will actually pull live, as we mentioned earlier. Okay. So, last order then with our handy dandy tripod. We've got Ashley, order 189504. Will you please pull this live? I had to make this purchase after binge watching some of the live replays on YouTube. And yes, Hollywood Key Lime Pie is the best. And the Yoplait key lime is delicious. Can't argue with that. Love it. Hoping the Golden Lapis ink is a good matchup for the pen that we've got ordered here. I discovered your business over Fourth of July weekend. Love supporting small business. This is my eighth order since discovering. Wow. Dang. That is thank impressive. you. So thank you for uh, yeah. all the support. I'm glad you're it enjoying all, the It lines. all started with the key lime pie. It all started with the yeah. Monte Verde key lime and, pie. And here's a hot take that I'm going to get some, some kickback to saying. You know, I know everyone's opinion of key lime pie is that it's for old people but it's for everyone it's not just for old people i know older clientele like to go to baker square and get a slice of key lime pie but you can enjoy it no matter the age so i really wanted to make that clear that i've enjoyed key lime pie ever since i tried the yoplait yogurt back in the day very a refreshing take for me yes just, yeah because it's a good take it's a good take yeah then we got the golden lapis ink bro you you are so bad at like getting centered on the camera well stop moving it it's i i <laughs> i didn't it was there from the last time i stood there uh, whatever so it's uh <laughs> yes it is hard because when you don't have the mirror thing like yeah I'm it's going reverse right. uh, there we go look at that Good product, product placement right in the middle. Yeah, good you're also placement. supposed to be the one holding I know, it, I know, so. I know. I'm trying to manage the camera though. Yeah. Oh, I just saw that. That wasn't even close to centered. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, and then wow. we've got the Conklin Endura Deco Crest, the blue with the rose gold, which will be a perfect match for the golden lapis ink. Beautiful. B A U T F O. And that's another three brands. Every one of them is represented at the sidewalk sale. Conklin, Pelican, and Monteverde. There we go. Okay, so uh, let Ready me- to start moving around? Yeah, let's right, show- we have, we have two. Yeah, you know what? Why don't you show off an order first? Uh, I'll show, how about I just show both of the pens Yeah. for these orders, and then we'll walk around, and you can read the notes. Okay, that's All cool. Right, so we've got an order for Stephanie E188568. So in addition to a three bottle mystery box, uh, we have the Navalor Narwhal Matera Quartz in a stub nib. And this is the first normal we've had, right? That we're pulling here? Uh, I think normal so. Normal is going to be at the sidewalk sale. Beautiful. And there's actually, there's some new retractable fountain pens that they just launched. We should have up on the website soon. I'm hoping that we'll have them for the sale. I think there's three colors, two different trims. That'll be a big but release. We have those. Big release. It'll be fun to see those in person. All right, and then Stephanie will grab your mystery box here in a second. Well, this order is fantastic. Uh, so we've got Rebecca C. 188634. So in addition to a four 
box, mystery box set. We've got three pens, two of them exclusive. So we've got the Delta Happiness, which we've got here in a fine nib. We have the Delta Duna. This one's still available. This exclusive. next one is not available. Red Abloy. So this might be the last one that we had. Yeah, except that one that we'll have at the sidewalk sale. sale. One unit. And then that is in an extra fine nib. And we have a Visconti Rembrandt Lavender in a fine nib. I'll box those back up. And then we'll read the notes for both of these when we start pulling the mystery box since they both have some requests. Steffi says, thank you for pulling my order live. Our pleasure. Right, you know what? If this is you right here with the narwhal, we're going to start with you for the mystery box. So once Brian gets packed up, uh, we will have him grab the camera and then we'll start following me. We are going to need the chat's help. Uh, you, do you think I should comment? walk around with it like that? Yeah, do it, dude. You won't. <laughs> Thank you for pulling my order live. Hope to see Mr. Hollywood in SF. Yes, we'll see you out there. I made a comment about how to approach me in San Francisco, and the only rule oh, okay. is make sure you tell me your name and who you are. I because I know, I know. I, I wasn't sure where you're going. Sure yeah, there's an etiquette that. to how to approach <laughs> Hollywood. No, no. My point being is that uh, you know, please make sure you know you you need to understand that when we're meeting people or people are coming into the shop, we might not know your full names or the face behind the, the username online. You know, we got people who have different TikTok usernames from Instagram usernames from obviously uh, IRL names. So just please, you know, let me know, you know, where you, you know us from and your username online and then I'm sure it'll ring a bell for me. Otherwise, it'll be really hard for me to know who I'm talking to even if I've been chatting with you, whether it's through these videos or through direct messages for years. So I just wanted to let you know that way I can you know, see who I'm talking to. So greatly appreciate it. I thought you were going to lead in with the correct ways, like you need a proper bow yes. <laughs> to me. Yes, you need to kiss my hand and kiss <laughs> yeah. before I walk on. All right. All right, so let's see if we can figure out how to do this without destroying the phone. Am I keeping you uh, centered? Yeah, I'm good. Don't oh. So I got pieces. that. I've got the handle set up. Should I just walk around like this? I kind of like the aerial view. It makes me look slimmer. <laughs> Does it? Yep. Perfect. How and are we then, doing? Here, here. I'll grab it. I'll change the uh, the mirror. Otherwise, you're going to get a really nice selfie of your No, face. I got it. Oh, okay. If I remember I, how to I do it. I was just waiting for you to turn the camera around, and you're going to have like a dad facial expression of not knowing how to flip the camera. Ready? Okay. Whoa. So we got two two orders here. Stephanie, we're going to start with yours. You have a mystery box of three inks. Here's a note here. Kindly do a live order poll. Since I missed out on the Narwhal Matera Quartz during the EXP sale, which we just hosted, next one is August 30th. I think if that's the Friday, the last Friday of August, on our Discord server. I'm going to get one now, which we just showed earlier. For the mystery box, can you please choose one ink with lots of shimmer, color variation, and one uniquely designed bottle? So we got three inks here we need to pull. Chat, you come up with a very shimmery ink, and then I will pick a uniquely designed bottle. There's already one that I'm thinking of. I think it's Die Hein ink Ben inks have a really distinctive shape. Let me pull one out. Well, I was going to say do Endless. Oh, Endless. They, that's Since we just better. got yeah, it just in. Restock. Well, we just got two new ink colors, I should say. Yeah, ink, you're right. You're right. And we have an exclusive one coming that's due. The today. Next couple days. I think yeah, it's today. today. Wow. All right, let me... Uh, this is probably maybe the most unique bottle we have now. Yeah, let me get a letter over. Let's take a little gander. It looks like the shelves are starting to fill in with all of the restocks that we've been getting. Looks like I just saw a large Karen, or a Groff Von Faber-Castell restock, Robert Oster restock. From Scotty H, I just woke up but saw the end of my order being pulled. Thanks, guys. Well, thank you for the order. Uh, we've got some suggestions on these inks, too, for this mystery box. So this comes with the stand here. here do it right there, which is really cool. But then what you can do is you can flip this over, and the bottle it tips like that. 
That's cool. How cool is that? This is the brand new ink. We just started selling them yesterday. So we got this one for you. Do you have any shimmer ink recommendations? This is like a peachy orange, by the way, for everyone who, who is uh, picking inks for our friend Stephanie here. Get any recs? Yeah, I got two. Uh, for men, I got Golden Sands from Dye Mine. Okay. Not oh bad. wait, no, never mind. It says Dye Mine Golden Sands will clog your feet so much shimmer. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> okay, all right. So, yeah, I don't uh, know where that came from. We have from. A, an unrecommendation. <laughs> yeah. Dye Mine Golden Sands. That's random. Uh, okay. Tanya with Waringal. I am cat. Okay. Let's look at I am cat. This kid, my cat just jumped on my desk. He must have known you were gonna say that. I am cat. I didn't even know that one was a shimmer. The Golden Sands. No, the I am cat. Oh. Okay, so we got that, and then let's pick a, another super fun color. I'm thinking of Sailor Moon. I like doing Sailor Moon. Okay. That's like my go-to. Oh, it looks like we got a dominant industry restock in too, including the, the log books. Remember that video we did maybe a month ago? Month yeah. and a half ago, where so we were well. selling them live, everyone's buying them. Yeah, right when we showed this, you guys had like five, five of you like ordered live, and we had to keep pulling them. So that's super cool. Those are back. And uh, here we go. This is from Stephanie. Oh my God! I just placed that Alchemy Ink in my cart for the next order. Thank you so much. Super fun. Well, good. I'm glad that we read your mind. So, okay, here's gonna be the three inks. I picked a Sailor Manio ink, a nice purple one. We got the I Am Cat, and then we got the Alchemy. Wonderful. Let's just confirm. I'm not saying Tanya's wrong. I know I'm gonna get some pushback on that. But I Am Cat, I don't really remember what that one looks this like. This might not go over well. She's probably gonna break your mics here. <laughs> the sound's about to go off when you what, question what, her. Hey, hey, I'm just double checking. Okay, so it's like a gray with gold shimmer. You right, you right. Tanya is You're never right? wrong. <laughs> all right, all you right. better watch out. All right, let's go over here and cool thing about new ink coming out is that it gives us that many more options to add to the endless amount of possible combinations you can get in the mystery boxes here at Atlas. So, uh, I mean, that's not your order. So you might have a better chance so to win the lottery twice yes. than get the same mystery yes. box twice. And those odds only get, uh, well, less and less likely to get a combination that you've gotten before as we get more inks and discontinue more inks. Tanya did just let us know that she did drop the mics they are out they are officially out so we'll see <laughs> hopefully they're back up she uh you know we love you forgives we, you you know we love you when we put you on the thumbnail so that's how you know or put you in an order pulling video like at last year's sidewalk sale when tanya pulled an order live which was fantastic <laughs> eric right. don't make me calculate again the yeah, odds um, of the mystery boxes it? yeah um, what is your chance of yeah, winning the lottery like, versus mystery box and about 25 new inks to whatever we, we had. The 1400. Week. Yeah. All right, this one was Rebecca's order, 188634. This person's the one who had the two Delta exclusives and the Rembrandt from Visconti. No, here it says, please pull my order live on TikTok. For the first mystery box, I would like ink that will, oh, there's two mystery boxes here, two oh. sets of four. So for the first mystery box, I would like ink that will match the Delta Duna red abalone. For the second mystery box, I want inks that match the Leonardo Memento Zero Apex. So, okay, you go walk over and grab the red abalone. I'm going to go grab the Apex. So we need four sets of inks that coincide with those pens. Okay. Grab. Oh, we don't have red abalone left. Yeah, we don't have, yeah, it's the last one. Just bring it over here. I'll open it. Okay. All so right. our friend here... Got the likes red our, uh, abalone there. Likes our exclusives, which is fun. <gasps> we don't have an apex out here. Uh oh. Quick, somebody, I need a Leonardo apex. Can you go grab one for me? That's crazy that we don't have one out here. That's a really popular pen. Okay, well, we're gonna start with the red abalone. Okay. Tanya's making new rules. The rule should be if you get two mystery boxes, there has to be a competition. Yeah, I agree with that. That's always a lot of fun. Okay, so in order to find inks that match this, we need like dual shading, chameleon, abalone colors, which should be a new category on our website. That was great. 
We got one. I think the recent Culliver State inks match the abalone. Okay, I think we're gonna have to go to the swatch book. This is gonna be swatch book. Help right here. Okay, Culliver's, let's look. Ooh, Lavender Frost. That one looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, we're gonna do Lavender Frost for sure on this one. Culliver's. Was that an ink vent? Yeah. What year? Let's make sure we got it. As I'm walking back. Uh, purple, the newest one. Newest one? Yeah, Lavender Frost. Okay, we've got it. There's one. I just found another really sick. Look at these two. So this is the set right here, the Grand Expedition Halo Ring and the Dust of uh, Androstia. Look at that, that represents kind of like the pearl, the red pearl, mm -hmm. and this represents the blue. So we got that. How about like a black? Yeah, we need a black. Uh, so like I'm not gonna do like a, a charcoal. I'm not gonna do the state series because the best fitting one would be the Aurora Borealis, but I think we're out. That's coming in the restock. But that one would look so nice as well. Okay, so maybe for a mm. black. Can we do a Ferris wheel press? Isn't there a new color? Do we have it out here? Uh, Adventuring would be a good match. Let's see what else. The lead cast letters is okay. That's the newest one. Yeah, that's like it's like a more gray. Is it? Yeah, April showers would be a big hit. April showers. Maybe we do that one, April and then we'll showers? find a black elsewhere. Okay. So grab April showers. April showers. Sure got it. And then maybe Lamy Crystal Obsidian. How about that? Okay. That's a good one. Okay. Let's see. Uh, we might be out actually. Right, right here, right here. All right, this might be one of my favorite boxes we've oh, actually man. ever hey, done. Oh man, guess what? You're gonna love this. We gotta sign off in a few minutes? Not, we have the auto sign off where, oh wait, it's back, where it froze on me last time. Yeah, that's the worst. All right, never mind. we're good. Okay, this box has gotta be one of the biggest heaters we've had. I mean, look at that. All of these match that pen super well. Oh. And we didn't take any of the people's requests, so I'm hoping that we do on the next one. Don't worry, I can't read the people's requests anyway, the, what, what TikTok's doing. So we're oh, gonna, uh, all right. We're then back up. We did have a couple. We had one for Vinta Armada. Are there any fountain pens with a soft casing for Ergo Comfort? And what is a good star, uh, starter fountain pen? So we had a couple requests from some new guests on here, it looks like. So good starter pens. Uh, we have a couple options. Take a look at the Getting Started collection on our website. Uh, we talk about it's atlasstationers.com. I do have it. Take Thank a look you. at Twisby, which is everything we're looking at here, the Twisby Eco, or the Lamy Safari, which are in these displays here. And Brendan, any Ergo? Virgo? Ergo. Oh, Ergo say, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know that type Just of like stuff too Just like soft touch well. or something ergonomic. No. Maybe a little bit bigger, like a bigger barrel might be good. Yeah, I don't really think there's any like rubber grip sections or the most ergonomic are triangular grip sections. So you go with the Twisby uh, Eco T yeah. and the Safaris. Pelican Twist maybe Yeah. be a good option. Twist would be good one, it's a larger. Yeah, that would be what I would as suggest. Large, larger grip. Okay, let's walk over here. This is the Apex. So the second this mystery the box one. needs to match this pen. So let's take some requests as we browse through the books. I'm gonna start on this side though, because of the fact that, wow, Very Wayfair, cool look there. at that. Wayfair might be a winner. Okay. Yeah, Wayfair, we're gonna do that one. Uh, that's why the swatch book is so cool because it's so easy to look at. You definitely need to do inks. a green on this and maybe like a pink. Yeah, green and do, a pink. Do okay. a green and a pink. We got that. We got some ideas for greens and pinks. We got Diamond Glacier. That's a good one. That one's going to be a bright, like a bright. Uh... What about that one? That's not pink enough, maybe. We had Vinta Tuing. Vinta Tuing. Let me see. Whoa, that one. Tasha might be tough because there's a huge order coming. Let's see. Rose pink though, let's see if we got it. Yeah, we don't have it. Okay. What if we did Cheshire Cat and then we took that glacier? 
that glacier recommendation. Okay. Instead of the uh, Wayfair. That might be a good choice. They're going to get two dominant or diamond mining's, but that could be okay. Yeah, let's do that. Here's the Vinta, which, which is one? a pink. That one's really nice. Okay. Oh, we had a vote for party time. Party time. We know it slaps. What does that one say? Is it two two wing? Two wing, yeah. By Vinta. This is going to take a while to find. Don't worry. We'll watch. Oh, here we go. Got it. Okay, great, great. So we got like a purpley uh, so ink we're gonna and have to, a pink. I think you have to take that one out. We got to get a green. No, I, I think that. These are too close. Wait, let's see. Let's just see. Let's just see. They're definitely close. Let's get a green. Wait, we're going to see. Where's Cheshire Cat? I just want to see something real quick. Okay, okay. Where the heck is it? I don't think these are. I don't. I, don't, I think these are different. Enough. I know, but they're similar. The, the pen itself is mostly blue and green. All right, all right. I feel like we gotta get a. We gotta get a green. Okay. Well, there's four. There's four. Oh, Chat. There's what four? do you think? Should we do both of these and then a green? Should we do both of these and then a green? Squatch, you found that ink quit. That Hollywood's good at Where's Waldo. I'm very good at Where's Waldo. Thank you very much. Isn't that part of your nightly routine? Yeah. Do, uh, the the uh, good Waldo? old I Spy books from 2001. <laughs> All right, let's find a good green. Let's find a good green real quick. How about what about the pilot green, the Iris Suzuku? That one could or, be good. What about Viper green? What about Viper green? Okay. From uh, Graf. That's nice. That's a winner. That's a winner. Okay, let's see if we got it. There it is. Oh, that's Moss right Piper here. Again. Look at that. You guys, let's go take a look at all the inks real quick before we sign off. But check out these two mystery boxes. I mean, this is legit. This has got to be one of the best curations we've ever done. Can you imagine being our friend here who is getting all these inks? I mean, this is, this is legit. Tanya's giving a thumbs up for the Viper Green. So good. Squatch, I Spy books are core memories. I agree. Throwing it back. All right. I think that does it, you guys. Rebecca, thank you for the love. Uh, I think that's all I've got. The nice thing, too, that Lavender Frost probably looks really nice in the, the Rembrandt that they've got as well. True. What can I say? All-purpose inks. We really take into account the choices we make. You guys, thank you so much for the love. We did post a blog as well. The weekly recap went out on our website under blog posts. We have a giveaway for one of our Atlas shirts. Check that out. Um, otherwise, the YouTube giveaway will be posted later today for those exclusive Robert Oster inks. And then finally, we've got one more blog coming out, uh, how to shop the sidewalk sale and kind of what to expect, uh, any relevant information in terms of transportation, parking, all that good stuff. So that'll be posted maybe this weekend, if not Monday. You guys, thank you so much for the love. You know the drill. Stay Wrong. smooth. Not what? finished. When are oh, you guys? <laughs> I try to cut him off. When are you guys go usually live? I think this is an important one to, oh. to uh, talk about. This yeah. is a nice comment. So normally, I think we try to do the, the order pullings on Fridays. Yeah. Uh, you also go live usually throughout Chat the week. Chat this on Tuesdays, yeah. Yep. Uh, because of the sidewalk sale and the San Francisco Pen Show that are coming up, that schedule will be a little bit different. Uh, but next week, Thursday and Friday, for the 37th annual sidewalk sale, I know we'll be going live throughout it. Uh, yeah. I don't know if we have any specific videos yet on what it's going to look like, but there will be live videos both on, on both IG days. and TikTok. Be because the event can um, get a little crazy, I don't know if we'll have specific times. We'll try to announce them ahead of time what we're planning mm -hmm. to do, but uh, not sure if it'll be right at like 10 o'clock or anything. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. Awesome. You guys. Now I can say it. Thank there you, you go. so much for the love. Oh, wait. Yeah, stop, stop, stop. You know the drill. Stay smooth. Peace.